You're listening. You're listening. You're listening to the International The International International. The International Positive Positive Podcast Podcast Network. Network. I like kids a lot. I just like that. I'm going to take that out of context. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's our show opener. Welcome to Three Guys, Three Questions, where three friends test the limits of propriety through the questions we ask. Today is the 10th day of Christmas, which explains all these lords leaping in my room. This is episode 10 of season 5. This week, we're sponsored by Tim Allen's legal team. I'm Aaron L.M. Goodwin, and I'm joined, as always, by Andrew Savage. Say hello, Andrew. Hey, how's everyone doing? Still good? Very merry. Thanks for asking. <laughs> Very merry. Very merry. I'm also joined by Adam Krampus Anderson. I don't know what sound a Krampus makes, but if I did, like, I would make it. Like it's like it's cramping. Oh, man. You're really <laughs> testing the limits of that new microphone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stress testing it. You're really testing the limits of our listeners' patience. Hey, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Merry welcome Christmas, three, everyone. Well, welcome to three guttural utterances, three questions. <laughs> <laughs> Where three onomatopoeias test the limits of your ears. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Um, let's start the show. <laughs> if you're new to the show, here's how it works. Each host asks a question, then each host gives their answer. Hilarity hopefully ensues, and we move to the next question. I have today's first question, so uh, here I go. I'm... I'm going to take it away. Is that all right? I think that's okay. Do it. Go. Okay. This is kind of a sneaky question, but since it's Christmas, I hope you'll allow me. Okay. It's kind of a two question question. I'm going to allow this. This is your Christmas gift. It's a two for two for one. It is Christmas. Christmas gift. So what are your most favorite and least favorite Christmas smells? I'm excited for this. (laughs) My (laughs) most favorite Christmas smell. I'm pretty sure. Is nutmeg. Ooh. I don't know. I want to say that it's nutmeg, but I'm not actually 100% sure. What's what's the what's the smell that makes gingerbread men smell like gingerbread men? Is that nutmeg? Um, that's Med- ginger. ginger. <laughs> <laughs> They're not called nutmeg men, bro. I'm sure there's nutmeg in gingerbread. But I, I wish don't I think could. That's you know what? I wish. Coming from. I wish I could um, undo that and go back in time. <laughs> You know what's funny too? I can edit this show, but I'm not changing that. <laughs> no way. I am in college. <laughs> uh, nutmeg. Um, so you want me to change that to yeah, ginger? For you? Let's change my answer to ginger. <laughs> also, I wish there was a Google for smells. That would make my life easier. That would Ooh. Make this whole thing. That's a good idea. Google's probably needs to get on that. <laughs> I love ginger, uh, gingerbread cookies. Ginger's good. Oh, yeah. Ginger but snaps. to me, um, ginger just smells like Christmas. Like you smell ginger and you're like, it's Christmas time, even if it's June. Like one of my favorite cookies is gingerbread cookies, <laughs> but then you dip half the cookie into white chocolate. Mm. That's pretty good. So you get this little part of white. Have you ever had those cookies? I have. Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh, so good. I'm going to make some. All right. That's your favorite smell. Yes. What's, uh, smells what's your not least, like what's your least favorite? <laughs> well, I was gonna say I don't have a least favorite, but now is it's it nutmeg? nutmeg? Now, <laughs> now it's, it's nutmeg. nutmeg? <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to ask. I'm like, I'm not sure what nutmeg <laughs> smells like. <laughs> nutmeg, nutmeg is the spice that you put on um, eggnog. I know, but I've never. Oh, really that is smelled a nice it. smell. I don't really have a least favorite smell. Like every smell that reminds me of Christmas is a happy thing. You've never smelled anything bad during Christmas. Well, no, I have. I mean, I've farted during Christmas before, but that's not like a Christmas Let, smell. That's like, an all-the-time like, smell is. that happens like, at Christmas. <laughs> like, like family gas emissions? <laughs> Wait, so did you like? Did you do it on purpose? Like, dude, I'm holding all my farts for Christmas. <laughs> you give a little gift up. from my heart. <laughs> <laughs> you, come, you come home with like a bottle. <laughs> you open the lid. Here, I've been saving my farts for you. Did you miss me? Hi, family. I'm in college, so I'm poor, so I bring you the gift of my gas. <laughs> to always know... What I smell like when I'm not around. Mm, it feels all <laughs> warm and cozy in here. <laughs> mm. Give yourself an own Dutch oven. 
<laughs> oh, that's why you have to put a tree inside your house for Christmas. For the farts. So it'll suck up all the carbon dioxide <laughs> just, and methane. Just, just, just fart right into that tree. <laughs> right. It's, that's it's another a, it's a smell. Fart I like. absorption. The pine needles of the oh of the Christmas well, tree. Well, you're not picking more than you were uh, asked. So <laughs> right. So we're gonna move to Andrew. <laughs> hey. So my Sorry. favorite is the trees. <laughs> Christmas trees are probably my favorite smell for obvious reasons. Um, and I've it's interesting because a lot of trees are now like uh, plastic, and yeah. I 100 percent understand why that is because mm-hmm. pine needles are a pain. Yeah, but I still do miss the smell. I like that smell. Um, my least favorite is my of- mom. Wait, before you oh, go yeah, to go. that, my mom has these little like doodads that you hang in the tree that's that are like full of some sort of magical pine essential oils. Probably, I don't know what's in there, but it, that's it's cool. my, it makes it smell like a real Christmas tree. So he, I was thinking about it's like it. Disney Imagineering magic. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about it though because like I love the smell of Christmas trees because I remember when I was younger and I would you know Christmas tree was up you smelled the Christmas tree and you remembered Christmas but I feel like kids today are growing up and they're like they're not going to understand that smell is associated with Christmas. Yeah. Oh, no, I think they will. Right. Right. People still buy Christmas trees. Yeah, but it's still not as often. I think a lot of people choose because you can just buy one fake Christmas tree and that's all you need forever. Yeah. Yeah. We, well, I don't know. We had one for a long time, but we bought a new one just this year. Well, I'm just bringing a little depression to your Christmas holiday. Merry um, Christmas. <laughs> so, uh, my least favorite smell is artificial cinnamon smell. Ooh, yeah. So, I went to the store the other day and it was like someone just ran up and threw cinnamon in my face and just scampered off like the jerky is. <laughs> And just I was just like, like so upset. <laughs> yes, yeah, so just he was the elf on the shelf guy, that creepy guy. Just threw a handful <laughs> of cinnamon in my face and ran off, and like a horror movie. Um, Creeped on the shelf. It's somewhere. just like, it's just like way too much for me. It's just like not a pleasant smell in my. You opinion. know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna mix my answer with yours because that was actually my answer <laughs> for for my least favorite smell. Okay, but mine is very particular. Okay. It is it is those pine cones. Oh yeah. The oh. cinnamon scented pine cones. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because because like here's what I hate about them. You smell them far off and you're like, "Oh, isn't that pleasant?" <laughs> and then you get you get to them and it like accosts your nasal passage. It's like there's little like ninja warriors in there slicing at your sinuses. <laughs> And and then like, but you're like committed. You're like, no, but this feels Christmassy. <laughs> and you like, I've actually bought them before. Really? Put them in my car all the way home. I'm angry, <laughs> and how much I hate the smell when I put it in my house and I leave it in there. It's just, but it's like I hate buy them. Oh yeah, just throw them at people. But it's I that think that's what that guy threw much. at me. I think it was one of those. Mm. I guess I, just, I guess cinnamon is almost the same way. Like it smells really good right up to the point you inhale it. Yeah. I think if it's like super strong, like uh, cinnamon needs other things. I think to mix in with it, but whatever. I got a question for you, Adam. What was that like a like a like an abstract idea? Like, or have you like? Are you, do you actually inhale cinnamon? You know. We've already embarrassed me with the nutmeg thing, so... <laughs> Wait. We're going to try to do another again. So you have, then. You got to get the hit of the spice. No, it, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> He's got no, cinnamon it... on the brain. <laughs> Did you do the cinnamon challenge? Is that what? No, I didn't. No? I just... You just... I inhale like the, cinnamon. I just I like the smell of cinnamon. Okay. So, oh, have, you and, and you breathe in too deep. Yeah. Oh. I, I don't know if you were around for this, Aaron, but we had a friend who did the cinnamon challenge one time, and this person is like super, super competitive. Mm, I was, I was, I was there for that. <laughs> and anyway, he was like, "I am not going to cough this up," and he just swallowed the whole thing. Oh, and it was insane. so funny. His face got so red and he was just like sweating. He's like, no, I'm not spitting this out. <laughs> and then he just started throwing up for the next two hours. Oh. So we all won. Oh. <laughs> that was good times. That was actually at my place. Yes, it was. Yes. Also, one time I'm kind of clumsy. So I dropped cinnamon. And so it just went poof everywhere. Oh, and then it yeah. got in my nose and in my eyes. It tasted good, though. <laughs> 
Mm, so oh, the other day, the other day I, I made uh, cinnamon toast because oh, what nice. happened is I ate something and thanks. I tried so hard to avoid the glutens Thanksgiving because it makes me sick. And I, 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 I somehow I ate the meal and I was like, oh, no, I can already feel like I got it bad. <laughs> and I was like, well, F it, since I'm going to be paying for it anyways, I'm going to eat a bunch of stuff I'm not supposed to. And so the, at the end of the night, I made some cinnamon toast and I made four big pieces of cinnamon toast. <laughs> and my sister comes in and she's all cinnamon toast on sourdough. And I was all, this isn't sourdough. And I pick up the container and it most certainly says sourdough. Oh. <laughs> but I was so, I was so committed. I made four slices and I ate every single one of them and it was not good. <laughs> it was really not good. It wasn't that as bad as you think, but it definitely was Because I'm thinking good. it'd be pretty bad. Mm, yeah. It's- so it wasn't that bad, but it was still much worse than your expectations. It was just bizarre f- tasting. <laughs> oh, my favorite, my favorite smell. Go bread or um, go home. My favorite smell is those little um, Bob's uh, like peppermint candies. Mm. Have you ever oh, had these? Yeah, yes, I have. I've like, never had them. They're like almost like a like a candy cane meets an after dinner mint. Like they're soft and you can kind of chew them, but they're a yeah. candy cane. Oh my gosh, they're so good. Like you just like put one near your mouth and it's almost like Niagara Falls happens from your salivatory glands. You're just like <laughs> just drooling. <laughs> Gotta get that peppermint. Get that I, peppermint. I really appreciate the link you have in the show notes though, because I love the picture of the artificial hand holding the container. <laughs> Wait, there's an artificial hand? Yeah. It's the second picture. It kind oh, of to show showed... you how big it is. Yeah. I feel like <laughs> I'd right. like that in most other Amazon products. I just like that you can buy a, a tub of these things on Amazon. They actually have like bigger tubs too. Like I've seen, seen ones that have like 300 of these, a 300 count tub. Hey, Gosh, well, um, that's what's your address, Aaron? Because Christmas <laughs> is coming up. <laughs> get you a tub. I'm, of- I'm not going to say that on the air. Yeah, just give you a tub of these and some cinnamon pine cones and. <laughs> 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 My question is, what non-physical thing do you want for Christmas? Um, not this question, though. That's also, you no. can't say world peace. That's also not allowed. <laughs> Aw, shucks. Aww. Why are you so evil? Why are you hating on world peace, Adam? I feel really bad because I didn't even think about world oh, peace. Oh, really? <laughs> it didn't even cross my mind. It wasn't even an option for me. <laughs> That's sad. <laughs> it wasn't even like in the top ten <laughs> ideas. It just didn't even cross my mind. <laughs> Um, so, <laughs> um, what I uh, want that's non physical for a Christmas, I just want to have zero stress this next semester. At school. Oh. <laughs> I'm taking way too many high level classes next semester. I might die. Actually, I think world peace might be easier. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably because I'm probably going to just die. It's just I'm taking four 300 level classes in Oof. computer programming. I'm doing HTML5 and I'm just going to I'm just going to cry a little bit. But if I make through it, I'll know a lot of stuff. So that's cool. <laughs> the amazing thing is somehow you do it. Yes, that's what I'm hoping. <laughs> that's all I can say. Because look, I'm a schmuck and I got through school. <laughs> and it wasn't because I'm smart. It wasn't because I'm good or I'm disciplined. So <laughs> see, that's what I hate. Whenever people succeed at things, they try to like attribute what made them succeed to themselves. You know what I mean? So whenever people give you advice, it's always actually like a... A, a sly way of telling you how great they are. Oh yeah. So that's why when I try to give like tell people like what worked for me or like they they can do it and like encourage them, I'll be like, I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> but you just you're still alive and you just make it. You know, like I, I not s- not everyone dies every day. You know, <laughs> like just keep going. <laughs> the school's weird too. Like I, my friend was talking to his roommate, and I guess he was like, he was upset that people who go to trade school might make the same amount of money he will after college. <laughs> and I'm yeah. like, dude, what, what's your problem? Like, you feel like you worked harder? I don't think that you understand. <laughs> anyway, yeah, but that's uh, that's why I want for Christmas. No stress. No stress for at least one semester. I mean, I can't be greedy. Stress sucks. Like a whole like- semester, like. A couple days. Or- the whole semester, but not the whole year. I think I, that's fair. I, I, yeah, I'd, I'd say you deserve that. That's yeah. a pretty good Christmas present, man. <laughs> I know, man. I, I've been really good this year. 
So hopefully. <laughs> You're definitely on the nice list. I'm on some list. You said that <laughs> kind of like a like a creeper. Like you're definitely on the nice. I'm list. definitely on the no fly list. What? Like did you did you <laughs> did you grow a thin little mustache when you said that, Aaron? You're definitely on the nice list. <laughs> did you shave? Uh, no, I didn't shave. Uh, okay, come an old bearded man. I keep thinking about it. I'm like, I should shave, and then I'm like, Nah, I don't care anymore about, it, <laughs> about the way I look. Like I've been wearing. I just started wearing cargo shorts to work. I don't care anymore. <laughs> it's trying to get it's, fired. It, it's cold outside. I'm wearing I'm wearing wool socks. I'm still wearing cargo shorts. <laughs> I would say I would say that should be your answer. I look like I'm ready to go mountaineering. <laughs> I'm not. Like you're on the cover of the Boys Life magazine for Boy Scouts. <laughs> <laughs> it's got the cargo shorts and the long dress socks. Hey, that's not a physical thing. Do you want that for Christmas? <laughs> what, what? To be on the cover of Boys Life? Yeah. Dude, I love Boys Life magazine. <laughs> that was like the best. That was the gateway drug to me. Did you ever buy anything from the back of Boys Life? No, no. wait, sorry. This is not we should, this we should save that question. <laughs> did you? Did you, no, did you? I did. I didn't. I didn't, I didn't mm-hmm. But I remember getting the magazine all the time and reading it and thinking, these people are way more into scouting than I am. <laughs> Oh yeah, me too. There's no way I was at that level. I like mostly <laughs> liked it for like the bizarre 50s era ads in the back of the magazine like yeah. buy these x-ray glasses <laughs> and i was always like how did they sell these do people actually buy these x-ray glasses <laughs> and i almost wanted to buy the x-ray glasses just to see like what the gimmick was like do you know what i mean yeah yeah but then i was like maybe that's how they sell the x-ray glasses <laughs> maybe <laughs> nobody just- actually believes <laughs> Yeah, well, it's just one kid somewhere had real working x-ray glasses. <laughs> right. <laughs> Only one person ever thought That's, to buy it, and they actually yes. have them. <laughs> and he's a little perfect guy going around, you're on the nice list. <laughs> <laughs> um, what, uh, so you, okay, no more stress. Yeah. Um, What non-physical thing do I want for Christmas? Or you, you're, you're a little materialist. All you want is stuff. No, I want some, you I want think... some socks, Aaron? <laughs> I just want want a, want a tie. The, it's just like kind of ethereal, hard to explain, but I kind of just want freedom. I just like I just heard the freedom song from Arrested Development when you said that. I just heard Braveheart. <laughs> I, I just heard heard uh, George Michael. I guess that explains. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta give what you, what you take. Um. <laughs> Freedom. Yeah, no, like, because I don't know. I just kind of feel like in a lot of different things in life, I'm just kind of stuck. So the feeling that I could just move in a direction and kind of not care, that would be nice. But I, I, my, my, I, 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 I GA too many Fs. (laughs) That's the problem. Well, let me know how that goes. <laughs> that or emotional cargo shorts. What I re- that is what I need though, right? Yeah, that's just, what freedom is. Because cargo cargo, cargo, shorts. cargo shorts are like the IDGAF of pants. <laughs> You're just like I can put all my feelings in these pockets and just tote them around. That's so nice. So many pockets. I put my little pocket knife in here. I put my field notes guide in here. You put your sadness. <laughs> put my, put my X-ray over specs over here. Your dying mm. dreams in this one. Yeah. <laughs> A matted up back page of boy's life in this pocket. <laughs> mm. Just going to the mountains. That's what I want. Ooh, the mountains. I want to go to the mountains. Anyway, so. maybe that's what you want. You can go to the mountains for Christmas. It's not a- I feel like going to the mountains is physical though, right? That's a physical yeah. Christmas present. Yeah, I guess. But like, it's not like you're being gifted the mountain. What? Wait, why am I not? You don't think I deserve it? <laughs> Nobody can afford a mountain. <laughs> Aaron, I would give you a mountain. Thank you. That's what real friends are about, Adam. Making promises they can't keep. (laughs) I love those people who win favor by making promises and stuff like that. And they always somehow get away with it. I promise you that I will never make you a promise to win your favor. What? So, Adam, what's what non-physical thing do you want for Christmas? I just I just want to go home and sit on my couch and just pet my pets. Oh, I just want to see my dog and my cat. <laughs> just that be sounds happy. pretty physical to me. Sure. <laughs> That's well, I'm not going to keep it. Them. Let's get a 
pentacles. Pentacles. Arf, arf. Get pentacles. That's the cat saying, let me hear your body talk. You somehow made that song dirtier. <laughs> Oh, what? <laughs> oh, 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 someone's on the naughty list. <laughs> you, just, you, you just keep digging that hole. <laughs> I, guys, I'm like, <laughs> I'm seriously super having uh, whatever it is where people want to have babies, like baby fever uh-huh. for like a puppy. So bad. With, with that, just buy a puppy, man. They're so I awesome. I can't. I can't. I'm not. It would increase your life in like a thousand ways. There's the thing is they wouldn't have the attention that they require. Oh yeah, that's tough. Because there's nobody here. Like you know what I mean. During the day, I did, I did see a gif on the um, the interwebs of this. Uh, this guy bought his dad uh, a puppy, and his dad flips out. He is so happy. <laughs> oh, I'm that would be it. me. So I would again. I would lose my shiz <laughs> if 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 on Christmas Day I opened up a box and a little puppy came out. <laughs> just that, that, crying. I would I would I would I would st- I have not cried <laughs> in like I think maybe like three years I think that's like not, a while not, I had like a real cry and if this happened it would just be like so many tears it would it would make it rain <laughs> make it salty rain <laughs> <Salty> <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound right. But yeah, if anybody's Not feeling down or s- stressed, I highly recommend just playing with a puppy. <sighs> just like the best. Like I don't even have any jokes about it. I just I like puppies. <laughs> no, this is all I can think about. <laughs> also, if you look at the the link that I put in our little chat, um, Uber now delivers puppies straight to your door. <laughs> That's like the best PR move ever. <laughs> I know. Like Uber can do the worst stuff. <laughs> They can be just the most despicable people running that company. <laughs> Nobody cares. They deliver puppies. Uber PR rep. Hitler did nothing wrong. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uber, we're also delivering puppies to you. Oh, okay. Oh, we, yeah, puppies. We can look past it. <laughs> okay, here we go. I think you guys are doing the Reich thing. Oh, oh my gosh. goodness. <laughs> Also, this article is just full of pictures of cute puppies. So if you need to- Can watch it. If you need your day to be a little lighter- <laughs> Oh, 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 this guy is so happy. Oh. Oh. Can we, can we start a new show just called Three Guys, Three Puppy Gifts? Yes. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, guys, everybody listening to this podcast, everyone within the sound of my voice, you have a job. That job is I want you to go. I'm getting really close to the microphone right now. Okay. <clears throat> That's how you know so it's serious. This is your job. I want you to find all of the puppy gifts. The best ones. All of them. I don't even <laughs> care. And I want you to send them to me. I think we'll have to declare a winner for the best one though, right? We'll declare a winner for the best puppy gift. So send them to send them to th- at three at underscore three guys three questions. Or me, or use the hashtag Ask3G. I don't care as long as we can see these puppy gifts. You know, what? I just... found I've I found one while you were talking, and I think this is the barometer. This is this is what we're measuring at. This measuring is like against. that's that's called the baseline. Yeah, this one's pretty good though. I've seen this one before. <laughs> these are the the puppies and the kid. Yeah, there's yeah. a baby and puppies, and he's in a bumbo chair. Is that what it's called? Something like that. I'm going to make a confession. I'm not a huge baby fan. I'd have a puppy over a baby. (laughs) I like babies. I probably just pissed off a lot of people, but whatever. (laughs) Babies are all right. I feel like kids are better. Yeah, I think kids are better than babies. Once they can talk. I like kids a lot. I just like that. It's just nah. (laughs) I'm going to take that out of context. Okay. <laughs> that's Thank our, you. Th- Thank that's you our with sh- your boys' life magazine. <laughs> that's our show opener. <laughs> well, I like my kids. I, really, it's not nutmeg. <laughs> 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 Might be that. Gosh, this is a good show. This show <laughs> is so Christmassy. Like it feels like Christmas. This show, like it feels like I'm wearing a red Santa Claus suit. I, 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 it feels like I am eating gingerbread man cookies made out of nutmeg. It feels like underneath my computer monitor, there's just like a little Yule log. Yeah. 
Burning I've act- actually to get in the mood. I've um, decorated my computer monitors just with with boughs of holly, and just mm. draped across the top. So, mm. and I put I've, Christmas I've, lights I've put a nice, in my room. Put a nice garland around my <laughs> microphone stand. Yeah. Okay. And you know what? I have to confess. There's in the corner. There's a bag of cinnamon pine cones. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Andrew, we should do your question. Hey, okay, so I got a little warning. If there's any <gasps> children listening, they should probably leave the room. This is going to get pretty adult. <laughs> oh, are we going to have to mark this one as explicit? Somebody's on the naughty no. list. <laughs> well, maybe. Anyway, so my question is, how did, how did you guys learn that Santa was your, uh, was your parents? Wait, what? Yeah. Did I just break the... Did I just... Oh, no. oh my God. Hey, Jeeves! <laughs> Somebody, somebody get a puppy gift. Somebody have. (sighs) This is the worst day ever. Aaron, do you need to look at puppy gifts for a bit? You were so happy like 10 seconds ago. I know. (laughs) Oh, the drama. You'll get over it. No, I'm just playing. Ah. Ma, my, I I knew because uh, (laughs) I was five and we were living in some apartments in uh, Clinton, Utah. If anybody knows where that's that's at, um, I'm gonna look up a map. Keep talking though. <laughs> yes, and and uh, m- someone knocked on the door. It was like a day or two before Christmas in the evening, and that it was kind of peculiar because we weren't from there, so it's not like we had like family friends all over. You know what I mean? Right. So like we didn't have just like people visiting the house, so it was kind of peculiar. <clears throat> and my mom opened the door and my dad and there was like Santa Claus was just standing outside our apartment. And like, that's when the thought entered my head. Oh. This is baloney. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was like, why would Santa Claus come all the way from the North Pole like a day early just to say hi to me? That's baloney. That's the most cockamamie bull crap i've heard and so i was like constantly like it's just kind of sad because i i'm sure this was supposed to be like a moment of wonder and joy but i was just kind of like side-eyeing the santa claus <laughs> you, like the you whole didn't like time. really believe him like Mm-mm. this guy is a phony and, what and else in, is he up to in my memory he was drunk now <laughs> i'm sure he wasn't but he seemed like a drunk old man <laughs> Like he was kind of too jolly. Well, you, you didn't know, know him off. though. You didn't know I, him though, right? He was so a he could have been some stranger just knocking. He right could have. I don't know who he was. I mean, <laughs> I doesn't. I never found out. But 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 there was that, and so that night I was all, yeah, I'm pretty sure Santa's make believe. I'm pretty sure this is a con. And so <laughs> the Christmas night, I decided. Like I woke up and I needed to go to the bathroom, and I was like. Whereas before I wouldn't have gone downstairs because my parents would tell you, you need to stay in your bed or otherwise Santa won't bring you your gifts. So I was like, forget that. <laughs> and I went downstairs and I saw all of the presents out and my parents watching TV. And I was like, <laughs> man, they just put the presents out and they're watching TV. <laughs> and so that's, that's, that's when I knew. That's how I figured it out. I was five. And that's, what's funny to me. Cause like I've met kids are like nine. Oh, yeah, no. And they don't even know him. Oh, how dumb do you have to be? <laughs> I learned pretty young, too. So, yeah. There's like. like <laughs> you really believe there's a magical fat man <laughs> that comes down your chimney? Have you seen physics? Have you seen the way the world works? I was apparently not as gifted as a child as you guys were. I was probably seven, I guess. <laughs> 17? What? <laughs> no. I I had my Jeep seven. for one year, <laughs> and that's that's what got me thinking. <laughs> it's like Santa Santa couldn't put a Jeep on a sleigh. Um, no, I was probably I was probably about I, was, I don't know maybe I was six, but um, my brother just came into my room once near Christmas, and he was like, "Hey, do you want to see where mom and dad hit the presents?" And I was like, "Wait, what?" <laughs> <laughs> So first of all, first of all, mom and dad are getting the presents. And number two, they're just in the house. (laughs) (laughs) They've been here this whole time. (laughs) That was like, 
I'm trying to remember how old I was, but but like I remember I told my parents like that that Christmas day or the day after I was like, you guys, I the gig's up. I know Santa Claus isn't real. Like, oh, okay. Well, but he's real, like in our hearts, you know. He's like, so I was like, yeah, 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 whatever. But like, I I started helping them do Christmas shopping and Christmas wrapping. Like by the time I was like ten. <laughs> I love how your parents are like, oh, yeah, the jig is up. Let's they're like, work. oh, sweet. Well, now, he, now he has to contribute. <laughs> yeah. But that's when I was like, when I was older, I was like, I, it finally dawned on me like, that means every year the Christmas presents have been sitting somewhere in the house. And I didn't know that. It's like finding out you have a secret sibling. <laughs> I actually felt really guilty that year because we found them. <laughs> and I was like, oh, my gosh, there. And uh, one of them I was super excited about. It was one of those globes with like the ele- like the electricity in it. And then you put your hand on it and it goes to your hand or whatever. You know those things? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. when you you, you, you you go to the museum and you, you touch, touch the globe it. and electricity goes in your hands and you you know science. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, science! Like, like, so, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it was one so of those. Honest. And I was super excited because they were amazing. And because science. <laughs> <laughs> and I opened it on Christmas Day, and I was not a good actor as a child, <laughs> or now, but um, I was just like, yay, and my parents were like, what's wrong? <laughs> what did you do? And Jesus I didn't up. say anything, and they were like, did you go looking for the presents? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> um, so you say you're not a good actor, but I actually got I heard someone saying they were amazed at the the next day Ned's episode, I think it's season three, episode four, maybe it is, but that it's our our Groundhog's Day episode where you pretend to not know that you're stuck in a Groundhog's Day loop. I uh, thought that was good acting. Uh, that was pretty good. That's oh. a good one. Pretty convincing. Oh, well, well then, yeah. If only you could go back and train your actually your I'm, seventeen I'm changing, year old self. I'm changing my last answer about going home and petting my dog and the non physical things I want for Christmas are just compliments. Always. <laughs> you can't have those. Those are priceless. No. <laughs> but then you'll always be suspicious of them. Yeah. You'll be like, is this just because I wished? You don't really think this. I would say that out loud, but on the inside, it'd be like, but keep it coming. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Andrew. Yeah. So um, I learned pretty young. I was like four or five. Not to outdo anyone or whatever. No, but um, it's actually, I don't think I even learned that Santa Claus wasn't real around Christmas. It was actually what had happened is I was, I just remember I was in my parents' room or something and I was looking at my mom's jewelry and in the back of her jewelry box was all of our baby teeth. And I realized like, <laughs> what? First thing, well, here, let, hear me, let me finish. And I first thought, I'm like, my parents are creepy. Why are they got human teeth? They got some human teeth up here in their jewelry. Is that how they made jewelry? I don't know. I'm five. And then I realized like, oh, there, there are our baby teeth. And like, oh, d- does that mean that the tooth fairy isn't real? Has it been my parents all the time? I mean, it checks out. I, mean, <laughs> and then I, I just picture I just picture you having one of these like, you know, like in in any show that like a mathematician solving crimes or something. <laughs> or there's sure. all the numbers and things floating in front of his head, and he's looking around. Like I picture you doing that, putting all the pieces together. Yeah, so it's pretty much like a beautiful like, mind moment, but it's just a bunch of teeth instead of numbers. <laughs> well, right. I realize I'm like, oh man, if the tooth fairy's not real, all bets are off. Santa <laughs> has got to also not be real either. It only makes sense. Right. And I remember telling my mom, like, hey, mom, if you've been lying to me about this whole Santa thing, just what? <laughs> and first of all, she's like, oh, I got to cover this up. I can fix this. It's like, what are, you, what are you talking about? I'm like, oh, the jig is up. I found all the baby teeth. Unless you want to commit to a murder of many children, I'm going to assume they're mine. <laughs> And she's like, oh, yeah, it is. I like how your impression of five-year-old you is like a 20s gangster. Hey, your mom, yeah. the jig is up. <laughs> the jig is up, mom. I, fi- I found the teeth, see? <laughs> That's just how I remember most of my past is like a film noir. <laughs> it's, all, it's all like a reenactment of some like film noir gangster detective show thing. Man, you should hear the story when I asked a girl at the prom, man. <laughs> she had legs up to nowhere. <laughs> And other late slang. Um, but anyway, that's how I figured it out. <laughs> Are all of your memories in black and white? <laughs> yeah. Um, it was funny because I remember like growing up, my younger sister, my mom's like, she told her like two or three years old, oh yeah, Santa Claus is not real. 
I'm like, what the heck, mom? I don't want to <laughs> lie to her. You lied to me. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. I just remember the as the oldest, it was just like so much fun to watch. <laughs> like the other the other kids figure it out. And I was like, hey, welcome to the grown up club. You know? <laughs> the scales have fallen from your eyes, young Padawan. <laughs> Oh, well, that's the show. Uh, thanks for listening. Remember, your ratings fuel us. So please rate our show wherever you do that. <laughs> Just also, <laughs> you can subscribe to receive new episodes the moment they're released by subscribing. Also, you know, um, a great gift to give someone would be this episode to share a laugh with them. <laughs> yes. Put it on a thumb drive or maybe a CD if you're old school a, like a, that. A mini, a mini disc. A lot, of people, a lot of people are traveling. You might want to suggest this to the, the, your airplane passenger. Like, hey, right. I'm sure they would one. love to hear our dulcet tones in their Walkman. Earphones. Yeah. Put it up. Put it on a cassette. This was a shorter episode. Merry Christmas, by the way. Yeah. And also, we should actually release could, special play. edition cassettes on our show. <laughs> you can play it in your talk box. Boy. <gasps> and then you can like slow it down or speed it up speed make our up. voice sound funny yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> we'd love to hear from you tell us about your Christmas things and tell us about when you learned about Santa Claus okay uh, where can people get a hold of you to tell you about that and where can people send us uh, puppy gifts um, they, do, you want, do you want the puppy gifts just directly to you I don't, I'll see them all I mean, okay just put them to, to our Twitter then <clears throat> Where can you guys be reached? Um, I'll be on the Twitter. I'm a underscore sav. I'm there most of the day. I'm also on Twitter at that Adam kid. I was looking through some of my old tweets the other day, and I feel like I should apologize. So <laughs> sorry, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing the same thing, and I do feel like you should apologize. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm on Twitter at Aaron L M Goodwin, and I've actually been pretty hilarious the whole time. So. <laughs> <don't know. laughs> They're talking about <laughs> that tweet I did. <laughs> what, what was it? <laughs> this is not three guys, this, three of Aaron's old tweets. This is <laughs> no, no, on. no. The one, the one, the one about the German one. Um, <laughs> it was so bad <laughs> that you said you're just retweeting it because you want everyone to know how terrible <laughs> it was. <laughs> Worst comes to worst oh, or goodness. something. Um, anyhow, was, uh, uh, what are we doing here? Oh, we're show. Um, yeah. Oh, so send puppy gifts to yeah. at underscore 3G3Q. Right. Do that. Yeah. Do that. I hope you're doing it right now. Other than that, I want you to remember that uh, gingerbread cookies are made with <laughs> ginger, not nutmeg. <laughs> <laughs> I also want you to, I also want you to remember that cargo shorts are the IDGAF of pants. <laughs> And I also want you to remember that uh, electricity globes teach you science. And I also want you to remember to question everything. Uh-huh.